It's been four days since the Baldwin County family had their lives just turned upside down. You know, over the weekend, we told you about a tornado that just devastated Joanne Belinsky's home in Gulf Shores, leaving her and her son with next to nothing. Our Ashlyn Nichols checked on the family just to see how they're doing. This large pile of branches that's towering over me is just a small part of the cleanup that Gulf Shores community members have done to help Joanne Belinsky and her son get back on their feet. Neighbors are telling me although a lot of work has been done, there's still progress to be made. The last time we spoke to Joanne Belinsky, she was in total shock. It happened so fast that you really can't think of nothing but trying to go find the other people in your home. And then when I couldn't get to him, it was just trying to survive it. Okay. It was just rolling and throwing us everywhere. Polinsky was on the couch in her living room when the EF1 tornado hit Saturday night. In a few minutes, her home was gone. She and her son had to crawl out from under the debris. Both suffered injuries, including broken ribs. Now she's trying to heal. I'm still worried about my health, about everything, but my health is what I'm worried about the most right now. It's recovering, and if I can recover, to go back to work, because work is all I know. The rubble is mostly gone. Rotary Club was out there, and they were so great. They took their time. They let my friends and family try to salvage the little bit they salvaged. Red Cross called and said they would help me with my first down payment, a deposit on a place. Facebook fundraiser launched by Belinsky's friend is raising over $5,000 with people dropping by gift cards, cash, and encouraging words. Mark Mund is just one of many helpers, spending six hours a day cleaning the area. Our hearts and prayer goes out for Joanne. We're still thankful that they lived and that uh, Bobby had minor injuries and she had more severe injuries. All that's left, a trailer with a few items. Belinsky, not feeling well enough to go on camera, says she's speechless from all the support. I want to thank everybody for helping. It's beyond words. I want to, I appreciate it so much. So, so much. Belinsky tells me although she doesn't like asking for help, she could certainly use a boost. And if you want to give to their Facebook fundraiser, you can visit that link on our website at fox10tv.com. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Ashley Nichols, Fox 10 News.